<laughs> All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. Now, a lot of you have been asking for some more cooking the fridge recipes. That's where I get everything out of the fridge that needs to be cooked, all the old stuff, and we whip it into an incredible meal. So this week, we're gonna grill a beautiful Santa Maria tri-tip. We're also gonna make some lovely roasted corn to go with that. And we're also gonna make a wonderful salad with some green beans and some char-grilled broccoli. In short, guys, we're having awesome barbecue with fantastic, healthy vegetables. Guys, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, we wanna prep the sweet corn so we can cook them on the grill. So we need to peel back the husks. Don't take them off completely. We wanna keep them intact but we want to remove the silks, which are these kind of stringy bits, which are completely inedible. Now let's fold the husks back up. We want to get those into some water and we're going to let those soak for about five, 10 minutes. So for those of you around the world who've never heard of a tri-tip before, it's a really popular cut of beef over here in the States. Now it comes from below the sirloin, so it's really good for roasting but it's really famous over here as a speciality of the Californian Central Coast. And in the town of Santa Maria, right, they, they season it with black pepper, garlic and salt, and then they cook it over these ginormous grills, like these grills are the size of a trailer, and they cook it over the local red oak wood there. So for my Santa Maria rub, I'm using three teaspoons of black pepper, three teaspoons of granulated garlic, and two teaspoons of salt. Now let's season that really generously all over the tri-tip. I want to make sure everything's completely covered. Now I'm going to let that come up to room temperature whilst we get on and cook the corn. Now cooking corn on the grill doesn't get any easier. We want to shake off any excess water. Now let's get that on the grill but not directly over the coals. We want to have that kind of in the cooler part of the grill. Now we're going to cook that for about 20 minutes. We're just going to keep moving that around just as the husk gets nice and brown. We want to move that around so it doesn't burn. And what happens, all the steam builds up inside there and cooks the corn. And you get that lovely kind of smoky flavor coming on as well. So here's the deal, guys. It's actually really difficult to give you any precise information on cooking a tri-tip. So you're gonna have to rely on your own kind of senses and seeing what's really working for you because the tri-tip could be much bigger or much smaller. It could have a much thicker end or a thinner end. There's a lot of variables involved. So this is how I would go about cooking a tri-tip no matter what size it is. What I'd like to do is get it on the grill directly above the coal, so the hottest part of the grill. And I'm gonna cook that for about 10 minutes. And I wanna flip that over every couple of minutes. So that way we're not burning the spices and we're starting to build up that nice colorization. So like cooking a steak in a frying pan. Now to help that along, I've got some melted butter, which I'm just gonna brush over the steak as well, or brush over the tri-tip. Because the way I look at it, I can't think, I would never cook a steak without butter, so why wouldn't I cook a lovely piece of beef without butter on the grill? So we're just gonna do that for about 10 minutes until everything starts to color up. So whilst we're doing that, I wanna get the sweet corn off the grill. Now very carefully, let's peel back the husk so we've got the sweet corn completely exposed. I wanna get that back on the grill, again, just in that kind of like indirect heat area. We're gonna brush it with butter so it can start building up that lovely charred nutty flavor. Okay, the tri-tip has got some lovely color all over it, so I wanna move that to the kind of cooler, indirect heat of the barbecue so it's not right under the coals. Now we're gonna pop a lid on that and we're gonna let that cook for about 10 minutes. Okay, this is all looking absolutely fantastic, so I wanna check the meat just to see how far it's come along. And if you remember, guys, the way we do that, we're gonna prod the meat with our fingers. If you hold that finger and your thumb together and it feels like that, it's gonna be rare. That's gonna be medium, well done, and oh, flipping egg, yeah? We don't want that, that's the most important thing. So let's give that a good prod. Okay, that bit, that's definitely done. That's getting a little bit softer. Let's flip it over. Okay, there we go. That is flabby as hell, so that needs a lot more cooking. Flip that back onto that side. Now that's gonna take, I'm thinking, maybe about five, maybe 10 minutes. So let's get the broccoli on as well. And all I've done with the broccoli, I've cut it into big pieces, I've tossed it in some olive oil, and seasoned it with some of that Santa Maria seasoning as well. Let's get the lid back on, and we're gonna cook that for about another five to 10 minutes. Right, let's give this one more test. 
that's looking absolutely perfect. So let's get everything off the grill. And whilst that's resting, we're gonna build our salad. For the salad, I've cooked off some green beans and refreshed them in some ice water. Let's chop up some radishes. We can also chop up the char-grilled broccoli. And I've also got some chives which are knocking around, so let's finally chop them up. Now we're gonna make a simple honey mustard dressing to go with that. So we need one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We need one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, three tablespoons of olive oil. We need a teaspoon of honey, some salt and pepper. Now let's give that a really good mix together. Guys, this is all looking wonderful, so let's carve the tri-tip and let's plate up. Tell you what, guys, this tri-tip is absolutely stunning. Really, really, really good. And as for the corn, that is actually my favorite. So I haven't even decided what we're gonna cook next week. So here's your chance. If you wanna get in some nominations or tell me something which you're struggling with. So look forward to getting that. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna enjoy this green bean. No, I'm not. I'm gonna have some more beef. Take care. Bye-bye.